Mass Bankup from Kaiser Public Electronics here. This is part two of looking at the outcome of sending in all these gold parts, CPU, RAM, boards, gold plated parts that we sent to the German gold e scrap yeah, recovery company. And we get to see if the forecast that we did on looking on their website is actually holding up against what we got on the order that I received left from them. It only took uh, some two or three days for the package to arrive to Germany and they processed it in four days and the payment came in some two or three days later on my bank account. So it is a really smooth operation that does a quick processing of your order and also a quick payout. So that is really recommended. And I will of course also have to remind you that this is not a sponsored video by ESG. It is simply just the best service that I have found and use. On my left we have the return order from uh, the processing and on the right we have the spreadsheet where we did the calculations before sending it in. And overall we can see that prices did go up a bit, that 184 euros per kilogram of ceramic gold caps, I had that at 180. So uh, we'll just have to check the weight here and up against um, and the price. And as we can see, my weight were probably not that precise. So uh, what we received over here was 164.47 euros. And for the ceramic, 0.8. It actually seems that my weight is a bit under. So, uh, well, that's just a kitchen weight. Nothing that is calibrated like they are using here. Ceramic plastic, um, yeah, also seems to correspond to the same thing here. And the, the PCBs, um, we had 11, almost 11 kilograms. Uh, that's hard to spot here. Uh, Lighter platen, 2.14. Uh, lighter platen, Bauteile platinen. Oh, it's the euros per kilogram. I had 2.66. It seems like these were split up into mm, unbestückt. Yeah, so that is an, yeah PCBs without components on them, and then we have the components, which is the Bauteile, which is just components. That seems to actually correspond to the same weight here. So that was 16.34. But we have to make a new point here for uh, PCB. Without components. And that paid out. Without PCBs. What? 0 0.07. But we also have this platinum. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really sure what kind or what goes where here, but it seems that that part and the 1B is what's what I identified as 1A. As that is the highest weight with the most components. Came in at 17.44. The slot card CPUs, uh, the Pentium 2 lighter platter, that's uh, 5.38. And we have our gold pin RAM, 172. Wow, that is really, um, that's more than the uh, gold cap CPU. So for sure, keep all the RAM modules. That is a money maker. And as we can see here, the, um, the silver ones are actually just a lot less, but uh, still worth uh, keeping if you can send in a huge packet with a lot of weight in it. And the plastic ICs, uh, Chips Kunststoff, Schwarz, uh, 3.15, so yeah, not that much, but actually totals out to a 63 euros more than I anticipated when sending this in. So yeah, that, uh, that gives me a 
much better profit of course. Uh, very nice to see that I get almost 500 Danish crowns more in the, in the pocket after this. So yeah, a pleasant surprise that the prices actually went up, that my own weight um, were not calibrated and weighing too less. And that it generally is a very thorough service that ESG gives you, that it's very uh, well specified and they do a very precise sorting down to some very small amounts. That they actually did sort this out without even charging me. There's no charging um, yeah, price on this list here that they actually did this. This is just a part of what they pay out. So overall, I'm very satisfied with the, with this service and this shipment and is for sure collecting more parts to send in later. Maybe in one, two, three, four, five years again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you see that there is a good amount of money in making in gold e-scrap or electronics with gold on it. And it certainly is, for me at least, not worth doing myself at home dealing with dangerous chemicals or hazardous processes. So, until next time, see ya.